This video will demonstrate keyboard shortcuts available in the Silogen's JS to Rust Sketcher. First of all, I'll mention that the commonly available keyboard shortcuts in Windows are available in the Sketcher. So for example, Control C for copy, Control V for paste, Control Z for undo, et cetera. And I'll begin by showing you that you can find out these keyboard shortcuts by looking at the contextual menus. So for example, if I point my cursor at an atom here and I right click, I get a contextual menu. So under atom type, you can see a list of atom types and next to them on the right are their keyboard shortcuts. So for example, typing an N will give you a nitrogen, typing an L will give you a chlorine, an H give you a hydrogen, D deuterium, T tritium, and R will give you R group. For atom charges, similarly, if you point and click the plus key or even the non-shifted equal sign on the keyboard, you'll get um, the atom charge increased by one. If you do the same thing with a minus key, the charge will be decreased by one. Similarly, for query atoms, if you can, if you type an A, you will get the uh, non-hydrogen wildcard. Um, Q for not C or H, X for halide, M for metal. These are useful in searches. Asterisks will indicate a wild card at that position. For bonds, there are bond keyboard shortcuts. So if I point and right click on a bond, you can see bond type. So bond type, if you type a one, you'll get a single bond, two double bond, three triple bond, four delocalized. If you're pointing at a wedge bond, five means up, six means down, seven means a wiggly bond, and eight means either or for a um, double bond. So now I'll show you some of these things. So for example, if I point at this atom and I type uh, S, I get a sulfur there. If I type L, I get chlorine. Now for the, for the double bond, if I point at the bond and type a one, it changes it to a single. If I type a three, it changes it to a triple. And as for the uh, charges, if I point at this oxygen on this carboxyl group and type minus, it changes it to a minus. If on the nitrogen, if I type the plus key, it adds a hydrogen and increases it. If I keep hitting the plus, it'll just keep going up. You can then decrease this by just hitting the minus key, going back. And that's what you have. And for the wedges and a hash, if I point at this one and I type a six, it changes it to uh, the down from up. And if I click five, it goes back. Similarly, if I can type a six, but if I type control Z, it undoes my last action. So, these are the keyboard shortcuts that are available in JSTRA. Thank you for watching.